Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to episode 11, season 3 of the James Hart Beer Pro Crew Mode on Rugby League Live 3. Now, as you can see on the screen here, we're taking on the West Tigers SBR. Just take a look at um, some of these little boosts, and I think we do end up picking up a boost, possibly. But um, the main thing is, you might be noticing it says round 18, which is... We don't usually start in round 18. We usually start on, the, you know, the odd number, um, because we have two games per episode. You can see by the length of the episode. There is a buy actually involved. We weren't dropped, we weren't nothing. It's just, uh, just a buy. Um, and you can see here the team lineup. We still have like Kane Brennan on the wing. Tim Lifewire back in the side though, and Daniel Mornerman at five eight, which is a little bit of a weird one, but I think it's something that they sort of run with for the rest of the season. So um, you know, Daniel Mornimer is uh, is there. Josh Reynolds off the bench. It's not something that's um, you know unknown to him. So we got a pretty good side, I got to say. Um, I think we should be able to beat the West Tigers. We beat them early in the year, beat them in the preseason as well. So I was expecting a win. I got to say, uh, the Warriors we beat them last uh, last game quite comfortably. Um, we did also uh, lose quite late on to the Storm minus uh, a few stars, but I think Billy Slater scored the final try. So, I mean, there's no shame losing to the Storm, but we should have won that one. And it's just a theme with us that we seem to, you know, just not be able to close out games. But hopefully that can all change pretty soon. Now, James Hart, first of all, when the game was uh, a missed tackle, but just a great little kick there. Well, it wasn't a little kick. It was a big bomb, which I uh, hit the deck somehow and uh, ended up um, not being taken by Naguama, who got forced in goal. And see there, James Hart was on the receiving end of an inside ball there. Nearly ended up scoring. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the drag animation to start and just force herself over. But James Hart, crazy bit of space here. Tries to take on Tedesco, who we've had a bit of success against um, James Tedesco, i got to say. Uh, but we couldn't do it at that time, so uh, this is still the third tackle, and they come back to where we are. You can see there's a lot of ball movement, and we beat another player, and we're in a bit of space again, and there's a tackle there, but it was a great little um, step that James Hart put on there, and there was a, a nice little tackle around the leg. That's what we had to do. And see here, reading this kick, um, you know, reading it like a book, really, and finding a lot of space. This just seems to be uh, the theme of this this game right here, and I suppose the episode, because it's not in the game, but just finding a lot of space everywhere. So you can see there, another good run by us, which is going to be followed up by a kick by Daniel Mortimer, and it is a bomb. Let's see if uh, anyone can get under it, and he's Luke Lewis. And Luke Lewis back in the starting lineup. He'd been coming off the bench, so good to see Luke Lewis back in the starting lineup. I don't know why you'd bring him off the bench, but uh, he's come up with the goods there, catching the bomb back to his winger days, and Hogginson kicks the goal. So we have the Bulldogs ahead, and James Hart playing very, very good, but he hasn't actually scored a try, which is... um. Quite scary uh, for the Tigers, but will this be his first try? Cuts back inside there. I don't know if it's not for Luma chasing. It looks like Luke Brooks actually who's chasing, and he got nowhere near him. James Hart he opens the scoring uh, for himself there. So uh, the Bulldogs will hit the lead. Should be 12-0 after Hoxton kicks the goal. But um, great stuff there by by young hitman James Hart, and um, you know great stuff. We're in the lead, and I really can't see us losing from here. But I said the same thing uh, against the Storm, and that was really really poor play. And that's just something James Hart's got to get out of his um out of his game, just those stupid little errors there. See Robbie Farrah after a run by Chris Lawrence in the centres, Robbie Farrah forces his way over and he scores a try for the Tigers, so very disappointing to concede that try because it was James Hart's um, fault that they had the ball, a very, very poor offload. I think not only was the pass not on, but just the pass in general was really, really bad, but I mean, he's been pretty uh, on an attack here and Josh Reynolds gets a pass to him and Josh Reynolds formed a little bit of a combination there with James Hart, uh, but couldn't get the ball back to him, but you can see Reynolds in a um, hooker Gets it to Daniel Mornway here, and they're going to hit the right-hand side. And I'm not sure who it is, but it's been a few people who we thought might have scored. But it is going to be Brett Morris on the receiving end of the ball. And we extend our lead back out to our 10 points. So hopefully Hoganson can kick the goal here. Uh, it will make us feel a lot more comfortable um, with how things are going. And he actually misses the goal. Couldn't believe it. The um, computer doesn't miss too often, so it was a little bit... Perplexed when he missed it. Now James Hart usually just dishes it off to someone here. Every now and again, we'll come up with a um, come up with some sort of play. But if you didn't check why we um, ran it, it was because oh, sorry if you didn't see the clock, I should say there was only 15 seconds left. So we decided to run it and just see what we could do. Obviously the offload was a poor one, and I, I don't even know if they had time to pack the scrum. But uh, the first involvement in the second half was a tackle around the legs there. Pretty poor defence, as well as that defence right there is poorly, poorly for some reason out in the wing there. You can see there James Hart with head in hands there. Um, maybe could have got an attempt on him. Maybe shouldn't have went for the tackle around the legs. Should have just tried to knock the ball out or something. I don't know. But Robbie Farrah ends up missing the goal, so um, sort of makes it a little bit better in terms of in terms of the league. So we still got a six point lead. They can't overtake us at this stage. So. It's a lot more tight again than what we would have liked, but what a brilliant little try there. James Hart, you little ripper. Um, calling for the ball there, perfect position, I'd say. And, uh, you know, just running that good inside line, which is uh, which is what you want to do when there was just so much space. Went straight into it, and that's the second try of the game. And it's nice to actually score 
um, some tries that aren't those sort of length of the field um, cheese sort of tries where you know there's nothing really computer can do it's just you know it's kind of broken um, the game you sort of just go one way and just turn another way and you're good to go whereas um, that trial was just good fullback work it doesn't happen too often because computer doesn't do that much but um, you know they did it on that occasion and it worked out quite nice there was some pretty important plays for James Hart it was a pretty important tackles the first one uh, the first clip was around the legs is very similar to that one where the ball came out and it actually involved a knock on the second one was just a nice uh, little tackle but um, there was a player ball there from James Arts. He actually had the ball, but see, on the receiving end of a little offload there, and Josh Reynolds still at um, dummy half, still a hooker, and the player's going to continue hitting the left hand side here. That's another offload. James Hart grabs the ball, passes a little bit too early there, but not to worry. A few tackles later, we end up on the receiving end of the ball. Palm off Kevin the Guama, and it's try time. There's another hat trick there for James Hart this season, and I don't know what his try tally account is, but. I think it'd be way, way up there. I think we're winning um, the top try score by a mile, and I'd say Dally M's looking pretty good, but we're going to finish the game uh, off in pretty disappointing style, actually. Brendan Sandy uh, picks off an intercept. I think that might have been a call from us uh, in James Hart, but at the same time, it's just that thing where the game where the hooker, instead of just passing the ball, they decide to take a little um, dart out of dummy half, which is a bit annoying. We have one final chance, 80th minute. I can't remember exactly how we got the ball, but it ends up with James Hart. Can he get another full try um, haul? But no, he can't. He was brought down quite easily just there. So to run cross field. Hopefully something opened up and it didn't. Would have been nice to get that um, fourth try, but see there, we actually get 200 on the dot. We hit the double century in um, in points scored. I don't know exactly how they work the points, but a brilliant game there. Brilliant performance by James Hart. And uh, I think pretty soon we'll start showing uh, the ladder. You can see here, we're in 12th slot. We were, there's a lot was about 14th a few episodes ago. So we're starting to build our way up, and it's a very, very tight ladder. So we, although it might appear that we're pretty low down, it's we're not really. So uh, that's where the video is going to end. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMT, place the page in the description below, and I'll see you for my next video. Bye, guys.